What is going on? Your boy Demetrius is back and here we have got some shit we have to discuss talking about Evo and some of the crazy things that went down. But I'm going to focus on one company that really stole the show when it comes to Evo and that is SNK. Now a lot of us weren't expecting any new actual games to be announced. A lot of us were expecting some, you know, some additions to be announced, which they were. But SNK, man, they came they came with the magic they came with the fire here and then what I'm talking about here we got to start with KOF 15 now we already knew that they were gonna keep bringing out DLC characters we already knew that so SNK first they give us Shingo Yabuki he's gonna be coming so I'm kind of excited about that I do like Shingo as a character Shingo is a cool character to play with and Shingo has a huge fan base out there that really wanted him back in KOF 15 now they got him Shingo is going to be back in KOF and that is nothing but a good thing. Now the next character is Kim Capwan, which I'm not really all that excited about Kim Capwan. I'm kind of really burned out on him, but like I said, another character that has a huge fan base, so more power to the people that wanted Kim into the game. It's all good. I ain't really excited about Kim Capwan like that, but you know, he's coming back. So these two characters here, they're going to be coming back probably like sometime around 2023 or that's what they said. They might come a little earlier. You feel what I'm saying? But also when it comes to KOF 15, we're going to get Samurai Showdown characters back into the game. Now, we saw that with the last KOF game. I didn't think that they were going to do that this time, but they did it. You know, it makes sense and it's all good, you know. Haomaru, Nakaruru, and Dagger are going to be in it. Now the question is, are they going to put more Samurai Showdown characters in the game? Because I think that they should do that. They should not stop here. You feel what I'm saying? Hopefully they'll probably put another team in. Probably put, you know, Galford, uh, Hatori Hanzu or somebody, or Kiyoshiro. That would be a nice team right there. The two ninjas with the Kabuki actor. That would be a nice team. But, you know, hopefully they'll do something like that. I hope they don't stop there with the Samurai Showdown characters and you know and like I said they put in Samurai Showdown characters in KOF 15 we can only hope that they put characters from their other franchises such as World Heroes in KOF 15 so that's what I'm gunning for that is the good sign that I'm taking from this is that SNK are starting to incorporate characters from their other franchises now the new Garu game now this right here caught everybody completely off guard and they showed a little teaser trailer of it and like the trailer was pretty cool they showed uh, Rock Howard but they also had a little shadowy character in the background so I, I wonder you know who that might be you know I don't think it didn't look like Terry Bogart because the character did not look you know did not look like he had a Terry Bogart attire on but I think that little trailer right there I think that was the whole tease right there that shadowy character in the background so I'm kind of intrigued on who that might be it looked like it might be a new character altogether but uh yeah the new Gauru game now that caught a lot of people off guard and a lot of people are loving it right now and I just can't wait for SNK to just to, you know send us more information about it possibly a gameplay trailer I don't think we're gonna get one no time soon but this is definitely something that a lot of us can put on our wish list for whatever SNK plans to do with it and then on top of that you know they did talk about Samurai Showdown and the game having rollback which I ain't gonna lie man the whole rollback thing I don't really care for it you know what I'm saying but you know they got it into the game everything is all good you know what I'm saying so uh hopefully with Samurai Showdown they bring more characters in kinda like caffeine nicotine or some shit like that you know what I'm saying but like I said, SNK definitely brung the fire today. And I know people are really going to be excited with Shingo coming back into the game. So it's really going to be interesting how Shingo's gameplay is. Because me personally, what I think they should do with Shingo, they should go ahead and let Shingo have the flames. You feel what I'm saying? Let Shingo evolve. I'm really looking forward to that. See how they put Shingo. You know, see how they develop him. You feel what I'm saying? So... That's going to be very interesting to see how Shingo plays. And uh, as for Kim Cap Huang, Kim Cap Huang is pretty much going to be the same character. He's going to have his same two moves. And you know what I'm saying, like I said before. But, you know, it's I'm not going to bash the character. But like I said, you know, just more power to the two of those characters that are going to be in KOF 15. Like I said, you know, Shingo Yabuki. Definitely a fan favorite. Definitely someone that people wanted in KOF 15. And Kim Cap Huang. 
pretty much obvious. And as I said earlier, the announcements that SNK has made has got the world roaring right now. You know, I am so proud of SNK. SNK has been through so much, you know what I'm saying? That whole bullshit that they went through with Capcom a couple of decades ago. I am so glad that SNK is in the position that they're in right now because, uh, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I'm one of those type of people. I do prefer SNK over Capcom. SNK clearly deserves to be in the position that they're in right now. And right now, I'm actually glad that Capcom is actually looking up to SNK right now because you don't do this to companies. You don't do what you did to SNK, what Capcom did all those years ago. You just don't do that. You reek what you sow. And that's what Capcom is doing right now. They reeking what they sow. You don't ever, I don't care if you're competitive. You don't ever treat a you don't ever treat a fellow gaming company like that. You just don't do it. Capcom did. Now look at SNK. SNK is about to control the world. I'm just you know right there. It says you know Bandai Namco and SNK. You know they doing the damn thing. And Capcom is playing chase right now. So you know I got I had to put that out there. And the reason why I'm talking about that is because when that shit happened back in the day, it was really fucked up because I just didn't feel like, you know, Capcom didn't have to do what they did. They did. But I was always telling people, you know what? What goes around comes around. And right now, SNK's glory is coming around. And like I said, I hope SNK keeps this up. I hope they continue to make classic titles like the new Garyu game. Hopefully we get a new World Heroes game or something. Like I said, I'm just glad that SNK is putting in this work, and I'm glad that they are in the position that they're in. I'm just really loving it right now. Like the new Garyu game, man, I just want to see more. I, I just want to see what's going on. They just, I don't know. I, this is the type of shit where I I, I hope they have leaks. I, I'm, I'm waiting on some leaks for this shit right here. I hope we get some leaks for Garyu. You feel what I'm saying? Because that shit caught me off guard. I'm just like, oh... Rossi Rock Howard, then I see that shadowy character. I'm like, oh man, no SNK didn't. No, they didn't. But uh, I had to come on here and talk about it because, man, SNK, man, hey, I've said this before and I've said it again. SNK ain't playing, y'all. They not playing. They coming to dominate, and that's exactly what they did at Evo. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below about SNK and their announcements. Are y'all looking forward to the new Gauru game? If so, like what characters do y'all want to see in that new game or gameplay or what have you? Let's just get a conversation started about what everybody's seen from SNK. Until then, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe for more of this real talk shit. My name is Demetrius. I will get back at y'all in the next video. God bless. Stay safe. And I hope everybody enjoyed Evo. I am out. Peace.